All right, it's rumble time. Your only contest is an over-the-top rubber rumble match. <laughs> With the winner going on to the main event tonight to get a shot at the Tiger Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. My all opportunity on the line for the winner of the rumble. the rumble, Mr. Damon Havoc, the king of British short style, a hell of a technician and over 10 years experience under his belt. And Damon Havoc is going to have his hands full early stages of this rumble match with the very lively chaotic luchador Sammy Sparks who as you can tell right now is a firm fan favourite in the hearts of many of these and Damon Havoc as you can hear not so much I'm afraid Sammy Sparks enjoying the crowd's antics at the early stage of this contest. You've got to be careful, though. It's a rumble match. And he was up on that middle rope. Havoc goes to work. Ever the technician. The chaotic Luchador with a beautiful head scissors there. One half of the tag team legends never die with Fulton King. And a running forearm smash into the corner. Sammy now looks to tee off. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Um, ah, I got lost after seven, sorry. Um, oh, hey, but there's ten. And Sammy Sparks isn't finished. He's winding up for a beautiful drop kick in the corner. Ascends Havoc sprawling. Oh, look out, Chris Kendall. New contestant in this rumble match the Cumbrian scum that is Chris Kendall there looking to take advantage with a pump handle oh into the slam beautiful stuff and Chris Kendall looks like oh yeah they're forming quite an unlikely alliance here with Damon Havoc the king of British short style and the Cumbrian scum. No previous ties necessarily, but both with an equal target in mind now in the shape of Sammy Sparks. Chris Kendall using a the shirt there to his advantage. No disqualifications in this rumble match. Oh, look out, he's gone for the mask. And there's nothing anyone can really do there. Sammy Sparks wriggles free and is still being punished in the corner as a new contestant is entering the Rumble match now. Don't forget the winner of this Rumble match will get an opportunity at the Target Heavyweight Champion Tank later on this evening. Oh, it's Merch Girl Corey. We've seen her in the semi-finals of the Women's Championship Tournament. She was unlucky against Ivy Mist in that contest. She's managed to dust herself off and she's running over from the merch table. And here she is, Merch Girl Corey, ladies and gentlemen, into the ring. Oh, there's the big man Kendall who ducks her clothesline. She goes for the jumping crossbody. No, Kendall, no! She's over on that. Oh, she's in a precarious position. Oh, forearm across the face. And Merch Girl Corey, it's over as soon as it got started. Unfortunately, Sammy Sparks, though, is firing back on the inside of the ring here. Kendall's in a precarious position, dangling on that rope, and Sammy Sparks goes for the splash in the corner. Damon Havoc manages to get out the way, and it looks like the advantage is going to go to the two bad guys in this match. Again, no necessary previous alliances, but still with the equal target in mind of punishing Sammy Sparks as he's running into the corner. Are they trying to get rid of him now? They have both men with the leverage and Sammy Sparks is desperate to hang on as the countdown continues. He could really do with an ally in this contest and oh, he's running to the corner by Kendall. 
taken off his feet. Who's next? Oh, amazing! It's one half of Sammy Sparks tag team. That's right. Fulton King teeing off on Havoc and Kendall. Legends never die. And now both in the ring. And a beautiful double clubbing elbow to both Kendall and Havoc. Sends Kendall off the rope. Long-standing rivalry between these two. That's a really nice drop kick. A long-standing rivalry between these two. Kendall and Fulton King. Previous tag team partners. Kendall walked out on King and has since made a partnership with Sammy Sparks. Ooh, beautiful tag team move from Legends. Never die there. Sammy Sparks is very happy to see Fulton King in the ring with a running splash there to Kendall. Tries to send him into the corner. Reverse! Wow, with a lot of power. A lot of power. And now Kendall and the after taking out Sammy Sparks focuses on Fulton King. Fulton King fighting back though and we're going to see another contestant enter this heavyweight championship contenders match. Oh, the personification of greatness. Roy saves his tag team partner, Damon Havoc, the King of British Short Style and beautiful takes out Fulton King with the bookmark, a signature move of Roy's story and oh no! Ow! I mean it's difficult to bring to words what just happened there. You saw it, I saw it, it was very hard to watch. Let's not talk about it anymore. But Roy's story has gave the advantage back to his tag team partner Damon Havoc and now also forming the alliance with Chris Kendall. Legends never die being punished. Oh look at in the other corner though, Sammy Sparks has managed to fight back against Damon Havoc, sends, tries to send Havoc into the corner, it's reversed, it's reversed again! That is ring veterinage from Damon Havoc, over 10 years experience in the ring to be able to reverse the reversal of the Irish whip is not a very easy thing to do. It's a nice suplex though that we've just seen from Fulton King. On to Roy's story, there's another, be another contestant entering this contest. The men in the ring are starting to build up. Oh look, it's head of security, Jay Natris. We haven't seen him since he lost a singles contest against Ivy Mist in a, in a fight. It was literally a street match. And now with Roy Story, he's got him at Roy Story's wriggled out the back. And oh, I mean, it's a low blow that's not really allowed, but you know, there's no rules and he's over the top rope. And I mean, did he stay in that longer than Merch Girl Corey? I mean, unlucky to the head of security, Mr. Jay Natris there, as he's sent packing by Mr. Roy Story, the personification of greatness, who goes to work on Sammy Sparks, is punishing there, Sammy Sparks, and once again, legends never die, Fulton King and Sammy Sparks are under the cosh. Roy Story leaving Fulton King wide open to punishment from Damon Havoc, who just starts teeing off. Oh, look out! Sammy Sparks has been lifted over the top rope by Chris Kendall. He's fighting back and he's going to stay in. Climbs back through that middle rope and we're going to see another contestant enter the Rumble match. Lucas Alexander, the youngest ever Grand Slam champion in Target Wrestling history, enters the Rumble contest and ducks that clothesline from Damon Havoc and it's a beautiful super kick. Havoc nearly goes overboard and now sent packing with the clothesline. It's a great start for Lucas Alexander in this contest and oh, Roy Story looking. Yeah, that's his tag team partner. Oh, look out! Whoa! Wow! <laughs> Lucas Alexander with some absolutely lightning quick strikes and a fantastic lariat. Teeing off now with the Cumbrian scum, Chris Kendall tries to go for the super kick, tries to go for the big boot from Kendall, ducks the clothesline, is off the ropes and oh, tries to go for Hurricane Rana, fantastic strength from Kendall over that top rope, oh no, are both men going to go down, what's going on here? Both men tumbling, Lucas Alexander almost had the leg fully hooked, but both men are still in precarious positions on the edge and Kendall's flipped over, oh! And they're still fighting it out on the apron of the ring. There's going to be another contestant entering the Rumble match. It's the most stylish man in Target Wrestling. Buddy Roller entering the ring. 
Can he take advantage of the melee here? Will he look to tee off and Sammy Sparks is choking him out on that middle rope. Lucas Alexander is teeing off and Roy Story in the corner. Fulton King recuperating. Sammy Sparks has been in this contest for a very long time. The second man in this contest, in from the start, just being collided with by Buddy Roller. Lucas Alexander fought twice there and receives a huge clubbing forearm from the most stylish man in Target Wrestling who now stands across the face of Sammy Sparks and to the rescue is his tag team partner Fulton King he starts teeing off on Buddy Roller legends never die both parts are still in this contest will that alliance between Roy Story and Chris Kendall continue? We don't know, you know, it's more between Damon Havoc, so maybe they'll turn on each other soon. They look to have formed some kind of alliance. There's someone else coming in. To the Rumble match, and it's Autumn, who also, similar to Merch Girl Corey, lost out in a semi-final of the women's tournament earlier on this afternoon. And huge double chop, and another double chop taken Story right off his feet. Autumn makes people fall wherever she goes. And now with the big boot choking across Chris Kendall, and that's not easy to do. He's over six foot three, surely. Autumn running into Story with a big splash. Oh, look out! Fulton King's managed to eliminate Buddy Roller. Oh, look out! Fulton! No! And he's gone as well! Roy Story with two eliminations to his name. Oh! You see Alexander coming off that top rope, caught by Kendall. Great power slam, and now with the big boot, might be able to send him over the top rope and does Kendall in from number three in this contest. He's the one who's been in this Rumble match for the longest, and he has scored another serious elimination. Look how Buddy Roller and Fulton King are still fighting there on the outside. Jimmy T entering the Rumble match now. I mean, I mean, who knows, Jimmy, go for it, mate. You know, you could be the number one contender for the heavyweight championship as well as the number one contender for the tag team championship. What a night that would be for Jimmy T if he could make it happen. And he has Chris Kendall in the corner and he's got him in his sights. Nice European uppercut and a spinning back elbow with some venom. Looks to try and send Chris Kendall packing. Autumn has Roy Story in the corner on the bottom, though. He wants to get him up and get some kind of leverage. Chris Kendall fights back against Jimmy T. Autumn and Jimmy T have tagged together in the past in three men tags and they'll have some kind of alliance in this contest, you would imagine. As Autumn looks to try and send Chris Kendall over the rope and oh, he's, she's managed to do it. There's going to be another contestant entering this Rumble match now. Jimmy T looks to send Roy Story over that top rope, and he's done it. It's the golden boy, Charlie Anderson, now entering this Rumble match in the late stages. Oh, sends Autumn and saves his tag team partner. Jimmy T, though, off the ropes and caught. Beautiful. Slam there from Charlie Anderson. The tag team partner of Chris Kendall. And now the tag team teaming up on Autumn. Chris Kendall teeing off. Looks to go for a suplex here. Fantastic strength. The target rumble match, the longest. Jimmy T teared off and Charlie Anderson there in the corner. Multiple chops up. Oh, he's over the top rope. Anderson now. Oh, with that clothesline and Jimmy T's out. He's out of the contest. That's the end of Jimmy T as far as this is concerned. Autumn is very much not got the numbers advantage but still fighting back. And those beautiful Autumn fall triple chops.
taking both men out. Can she take this to advantage though and try and separate this tag team? And oh, look out, here comes Anderson. He's sent spewing to the outside. He's dangling on. He's still hanging on there on the outside. Kendall as well. Oh! Into Anderson. Anderson's been disqualified. And so too has Kendall. Kendall's been dumped out. Autumn's the last one in the contest. Has Autumn. There's one more person left. There's one more person left in the rumble for Autumn to beat, and she might be in for a chance at the target heavyweight championship. Oh, no, Medallion's back! Medallion's back! The man who was reinstated very recently by target management after a vicious campaign from Ivy Mist, facing off with a very tired Autumn in the ring, shoves the face. Oh, Autumn tries the Autumn Falls chops, and it, it's almost not enough to take Medallion off his feet who she tries to send into the ropes and oh hits her with the huge clothesline no no she's out Medallion is in the main event this evening for a chance at the target heavyweight championship and it's unbelievable autumn the last contender credit to her thanks for watching goodbye